I'm Dwayne Ross of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. For Thursday, April 20th, our scripture is from the second chapter of Acts, verse 14a and then 36 through 41. But Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them. Therefore, let the entire house of Israel know with certainty that God has made him both Lord and Messiah, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and, and to the other apostles, Brothers, what should we do? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ so that your sins may be forgiven and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you, for your children, and for all who are far away, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to him. And he testified with many other arguments and exhorted them, saying, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. So those who welcomed his message were baptized, and that day, about 3,000 persons were added. True repentance. Peter said to them, Repent. The 30 something woman seemed to have bad luck with men. Things looked hopeful when she got involved with Justin, but it turned out he was married and had no intention of leaving his wife. Why did he have to lie, the broken-hearted woman said to a friend who had a ready reply. Because he's a liar. That's what liars do. Justin needed to repent of his lying, not to mention his adultery. But what would that entail? By force of will of power and determination, Justin might be able to curtail his lying, at least for a time. But is there all there is to repentance? Hardly. The Greek word translated repent means to change or to be transformed. To truly repent, Justin would need to change his heart and his character from being a liar to being a truth teller and a faithful husband. True repentance is hard, but God helps us. Baptism is not a once and done event, but a lifelong process. As Martin Luther notes in the small catechism, living out our baptism means that daily we must die to sin and rise as a new creature. Rise as new creatures. Our prayer. Merciful God, thank you for helping us through Jesus to repent and become who you want us to be. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.